The main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing. Um, in the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, um, we have the life and ministry, the words and works of Jesus the Messiah. Uh, we're talking uh, 40 parables. We're talking 37 or so miracles. Uh, what's interesting, though, is that before Palm Sunday, and today is Palm Sunday, the triumphal entry, Jesus coming into Jerusalem, it is recorded in all four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Uh, before that, there are only two instances, according to J. Dwight Pentecost in his Gospel Harmony, that are recorded in all four Gospels. One is just a reference. Jesus went from, Gal from Judea in the south up to Galilee in the north. The other is the one miracle that's contained in all four Gospels, the feeding of the 5,000. So you have all this material, all the stuff that Jesus did, but the Gospel writers weren't writing about all the same stuff until you get to Holy Week. And again and again and again, they're telling the story of salvation. Check this out. Jesus lived, we would understand, 33 years. Um, but the last week of Jesus' life prior to his death, burial, and resurrection, half, about half of the gospel according to Mark and about half of the gospel according to John is given to just one week of Jesus' life. It is his passion. It is Holy Week. It is his suffering, his death, burial, resurrection, and ascension into heaven. It is the gospel. Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures, was buried and raised on the third day, according to the scriptures. That's the gospel. We need to believe it. This is Holy Week, so I pray for you that this will not just be a week of a holiday, but a week of holy days. Holy Week. Be blessed. God bless you. Have a good evening.